Greetings, brothers and sisters, Negroes, and greetings to you, the Gentiles. I want to declare to you today that there is one God, Yah, or if you want to say Jah, in English. There is one mediator between him and the human race. And that mediator name is Jesus the Christ in English. So you are a prophet. You are a prophetess. And you are on social media, let's say you're on YouTube. So Yah gave you a word to go and tell his people. And you have delivered. You gave Yah words to the people. And if someone do not like what you deliver, and they make a comment. There's no need for you to go and fight back or defend, or become defensive and all of that and try to prove what you say is right. If God use you as an oracle to do his work, then it is done. It is finished. There's no need for you to fight. God will do the rest. And I further want to say to you that you cannot build a ministry on YouTube and call it a prophetic ministry. It can't work. It will fail. But you can have a ministry with the operation of prophecies. If you build a ministry and call it prophetic, what's going to happen is that God give you a word and it is true and you go and you say that word and as human being, you want to hear from God all the time to go and sustain your prophetic ministry on YouTube. You will have to have something to tell your subscribers. And then when you don't have anything and you want to sustain your, your ministry, you're going to be drawing from where you shouldn't be drawing from. You're going to be making up stuff. And uh, after you make up stuff, then now you become a false prophetess or a false prophet. And what are the criteria? of a prophet or prophetess. The first one, yes, you're called by the Most High. And then he prepare you and equip you. And so you as a vessel must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you must be filled with the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is that power which is going to lead you and to guide you into all truth and to comfort you and to, yes, the Holy Ghost, the power, that energy from God to you. So you must prepare yourself. And you must be a holy vessel. If you're representing the Most High, then you have to look like you're representing the Most High. If you go out there and you see a rebel, you know who you're representing. If you see a policeman, you know who he's representing. You see a doctor in his suit, you know who he's representing. And so when it comes to the people of the Most High, you cannot tell who you are representing. If you are representing some area of the world, or maybe you are representing Jezebel, 
be, because some of it is it's, it's about you. It's not about you giving a word from God. It is about you and your prophetic ministry. And then you're going to be talking about you dream this and you dream that. Yes, yeah, some of it might be true. But you have to be careful. First things first, seek the face of the Most High. When Christ was here, he breathed on the apostles and sent them out into the world so that they can go and minister. He breathed the Holy Ghost upon them. And when Jesus Christ went to the cross, came off, and when he was about to go, depart, he told the apostles to go to Jerusalem and stay there, Acts chapter 2. And uh, until they have received the power from on high. You see that in Acts chapter 2. And so in Matthew 28 and 19, he sent them, he told them, right? And a lot of part of Luke, he told them you know, that repentance and remission of sin must be preached in his name, beginning at Jerusalem. So after they have received the commission, they have not gone out except the time when Jesus breathed on them the Holy Ghost. Other time, they fail. You know. And so, they had to wait for that empowerment. And that was on the day of Pentecost. On their feast day, regular feast days. And you know the story in Acts 2. So, be careful when you're going on and saying, God spoke to me, God speak to me, God tell me this. And, you know, you might start out right, but the human part of you take over because you have to sustain your ministry. And if you go to give a word by God, who cares if someone want to make a contribution uh, monetary to you? But it should not be about that. So go, if you are a true prophet of the Most High, go and say, thus said the Most High, and go your ways until he will use you again. May the Most High keep you until the next video.